As soon as I get in the ring, I turn into the nightmare and I'm dangerous. You're finished. I am the nightmare. KSI. But as it turned out, KSI is not the nightmare. He's in fact the person getting nightmares. And who's the person giving these nightmares to him? The one and only Tan TDM. It's always a beautiful day when you wake up, you see the blue sky, you all, you see a bird flying in the sky, you open Twitter and you see KSI talking to a wolf, talking and complaining to himself. And if another YouTuber, social media person comes out and promotes any product, he's going to be like, look, look, evil, promoting bad things to children. Without a doubt, 30 years from now, KSI will still be going to his triple A group meetings where traumatized soldiers are there who've seen and experienced horrible, horrible things. And when it comes to KSI, JJ, would you like to share a few words of your traumatizing experience that you've been coming to this therapy group meeting session for like the, for the past 30 years? So there was this one tweet, nine KSI's latest sad moments. He tweeted saying, well, till you see the music video. Oh, my ops are getting it. You're not ready. Which literally the song got released two days ago and it's called The Thick of It. And I gotta tell you, this song is, you might think at the beginning, oh, it's the, the rhyming is good. I am the king, the blink. When I ring, there is drama in the ring. It's, you might think like, this is like, you know, it's like a good type of song but i want you to really listen to the lyrics and in a line in the song he goes on and he says i'm at the thick of it and everybody knows now when i first heard this sentence i was like ksi that's very gay what do you mean by that what do you mean by that what do you mean that you're thick and everybody knows back or front what are you talking about then i have to search up i'm at the thick of it meaning it means it's a very active part of some action or activity it still sounds gay but you know he's, it basically means like he's at the top of his game in his prime time right now he goes out and he says in the part of the song i don't know about no ice i'm just cold KSI, you're not cold. You force laugh yourself 24 7 in your videos. <laughs> but then you come and you be like, I'm so cold because I'm, I'm at the thick of it. JJ, choose one. You can either be a cold person, I am the nightmare, or you can be the guy who force laughs in his videos and just watches memes on the internet. You can't be both. And then in the next line, he goes and he says, 40-something milli, that's what I've been told. As in 40-something million subscribers. Don't you just love KSI and his humbleness? It's, a, it's a, such a beautiful thing. And KSI also replied to this big news of Kai Sinet collaborating with McDonald's. You know, there's going to be a Kai Sinet menu. Well, it's like a chicken burger or something. And KSI replied, Dan TDM, where are you at? Well, I can tell you where he is, KSI. He's doing two things. Either with his family, having a good time, or just sitting and laughing at you fighting yourself. But JJ, the difference in this is, Kai Sinet is not coming and saying, guys, make first of all, he didn't create McDonald's. It's a collaboration. It's a two different things. Second of all, he's not coming and saying, guys, eat McDonald's for a six pack. Do you feel lonely? Do you want a lot of money and a lot of bitches? Eat McDonald's. They're not false advertising this whole thing. He's just saying that I'm part of it. I'm gonna have my own menu. That he's not coming out and saying, you know, you will get six packs. It's healthier for you. Um, there's real cheese inside McDonald's. He's not doing any of that. And I know KSI knows the difference, or maybe he doesn't. Maybe it's just, he's just his ego just blinds him so much that he just relates any anything to this whole situation, or he just wants views. Now, Face Banks felt bad for KSI for talking to himself and decided to. Do some, you know, good deeds, do some charity and join the whole conversation with KSI versus KSI. And he said, hate to say it, but the same people who were bitching about Mr. Beast, KSI, Logan Paul, uh, launching a launchable competitor are celebrating Kai Sinet's McDonald's collab. Again, face banks, you donkey. You're not seeing the point of people. It's the advertising, which is very false. Real cheese, healthier for you. Prime has Electra Heights. Six packs, you want bitches? Drink Electro Height. It's nothing like that. If Lunchly came, you know, KSI, Logan Paul, Mr. Beast, they came and they said, look, it's delicious. You will love it. Respect to them. They're not doing, oh, healthier. They're not shitting on the competitor. No one wants you, wants, no one wants to see you. It makes you very unlikable when you're saying, mm, mid, Lunchables is so mid and just like shitting, too, fucking spitting on it. No one wants to see you to fight the only competitors 
we would like to watch is McDonald's and Burger King with Burger King lion mascot and uh, fucking McDonald's Joker getting into a ring and just fighting each other. That's what we want. What we want to see. We don't want you to be like, mm, ew, ours are way better because real cheese. Did you know that it has real cheese? Because it has real cheese. Real cheese. And then just yesterday, the voices could not stop in his head, so he decided to make another comment saying, "Hey yo." Sorry about that, Dante DM. Why did you come over to Sidecast? Let's talk this out like men. It's been two weeks, and as you can see, the voices are still in his head. And there's a clip from that Sidecast podcast that they have, where you can see that KSI is still being haunted, and he's trying to bring all of his sidemen people, everyone in the podcast, to shit on Dante DM, but he just fails miserably. Do we want to talk about Dante? <laughs> to you. Even. Dan D, what's his name? TDM. Dan TDM, yeah. yeah. The Diamond Minecart. I said we can, but look, if we speak I think too long on it, it gets cut out. So, well, let's, let's, yeah, you can't talk about it. Sorry, mate. Yeah. Can I not talk about him? What? You, you, Are you guys fans of Dan? D, uh, oh my god. TDM. Dan T, TDM. Like Team Deathmatch. Are you guys fans of Dan? Oh my god. Wow, hey, Dan so, TDM. The youngest, a, he, the youngest here doesn't even know who he, he is. Yeah, but he, he, because he, his he, era was feel, a lot ago. Yeah, he's past oh, it. Oh, so he's past it. He's like, he's like, he's an icon. He's an icon. So why am I even talking to? This guy. He's my era. I grew up watching him. So, do you still watch him? No. Oh, <laughs> I think it's, it's worse, right? Because you didn't say, oh, no, not anymore. You went, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah but it's so, for it's kids. embarrassing yeah. to watch him. He for kids. It's kids content. Yeah. It's for kids. And the youngest kid here doesn't yeah. even watch him. We're, we're not. I, we're not. We're not. So, I'm not, so we're not he's trying, I'm not trying to ridicule him. That's it. That's a respect on his name. <laughs> To this, to is sell your, out. this is your beef. This is to on Neil's my mind. Sell out like stadiums in America, across tour. America. Yeah. 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 I did see that, and that yeah. was quite cool. Yeah. Hasn't he got more subs than you? Yeah, he does. <laughs> he does. He does. But it's not all about subs. <laughs> it's it about relevant? who's still relevant to this day. He's pretty relevant. <laughs> and no, nah, I p reposted something on my story that showed that I'm. And well, it didn't show that I'm an OG. It showed that I'm. I saw that. The new YouTuber. Now KSI, if Dan Tidium wasn't as relevant as you are right now, he's just a dead account, dead followers, dead subscribers. Why does it bother you so much? Then? First of all, they get the same amount of views. They started almost around the same time, maybe a year or two apart. KSI in 2009, Dan TDM in 2007, I believe. Second of all, Dan is 32, KSI is 31. But only one of them is acting their age. If there was a reward for being the most hated person, unlike, let's say unlikable, let's, let's not use the word hate. Unlikable person in the whole month, this month and September, last month as well, the price will go to KSI and KSI alone. What is the point of being relevant if you're unlikable? There's no point of it. And he goes on and he says in the interview that, you know, it was just, uh, way he knows that it is going to piss people off it is a way for him to promote his music and all and but at the end he just got bored of it i just do it because i know it pisses people off it's bro i look on twitter and i go oh wow these people actually care that i'm just saying all these you things said you about want to start that. a real life chant about that yeah because it's you just, are not the route <laughs> i like to continue it because it's just funny so you you think but then i do i feel like it's it's reaching its point where it's not even funny for me anymore it wasn't funny it's not funny it's no it's bro it was great i'm using it as promo for my song now this is something i said in the last video we made about ksi he knows it's going to piss people off he knows it's going to get impressions so he's going to just stretch it as much as he can and meanwhile while he's getting all this impression engagement with millions of them he's going to promote his music but that's just not the way it works. Hey guys, I know you absolutely hate me. You don't like my face, my eyes, my forehead, my laugh. You like nothing about me. But I just released a new song. If you, you know, if you don't mind, would you go check it out? No one is going to go check it out, JJ. That is the worst fucking promotion. That is the worst way you can market your song. Sure, you, you will have haters go to your videos. The views will go up, but just the like and dislike comparison the comment section is it worth it i think uh, jake paul posted this saying when you might Tyson knocks you out but ksi song starts playing as in you get knocked out but the song is so bad you get back up you turn off the song and ksi replied to it saying the hate on my new song is so forced lol
you know you know what i'm going to say and you know what you you're go i'm going to say you know i know what you're going to say and just an hour ago i screenshotted the tweet that ksi made just an hour ago in case he deletes it because it's hilarious he replied to the podcast thing with nanta dm no reply publicly or privately it's obvious you tweeted just for likes interactions and to be seen as a white knight and before your stupid minions reply or meme me, you started this. I'm just trying to finish it. Now, I believe this is the part where the joke ends and he's not trying to market his song anymore. This is where it's actually getting to him and he's walking around talking to himself and punching the wall. You want it to be seen as the white knight and you did it just for likes. You started it. I'm, I'm trying to finish it. It looks like the nightmare in KSI is uh, getting to him. His nightmare is turning against his own. Again, JJ, he made one tweet. He made one tweet to share his own opinion on this whole thing because a lot of people been doing it and he never made a comment about anything else. This was the first drama he decided to get himself into. The only person I believe who's doing this for likes is you, JJ, and you're getting shatalked with dislikes. Two minutes later, he posted this saying, these stupid fans leave trash comments on my new song. Think they're getting to me. You're not. It's not funny. It's boring. You're wasting your time. KSI is using his time very wisely by, you know, tweeting these things. And when he says that it is not getting to me, it is getting to him. When you make a comment and say, it's not funny, you're wasting your time, you're stupid. It is getting to him and he is getting angry and it is hurting his, not only ego, but his pride. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't hate or dislike JJ. Just over the past few weeks, he's been extremely cringe. He's been fighting his own demons and he just needs to let it go. Let it rest. We do not care. The more you talk about it, the worse it gets. You, you promoted your song, just let it go. Why well, you want to keep stretching it? Do you want to have a debate with Dan to DM so you can stay relevant? Uh, uh, uh. Anyways, I just hope uh, KSI fights his trauma and his demons that he's currently fighting. I hope he wins the fight and he can, he can go back to, you know, force laughing his videos and reacting to Reddit memes. Anyways, just wanted to update you with this whole thing as usual. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you're new here. Like, subscription, please. Thank you. Take it easy. I'll see you at the next one.